Welcome to the first part in the six part series on how to learn the tiptoe routine. Today, we'll be learning how to mark time. Before we get going, take a minute to stretch on your own. Um, I'd recommend doing some foot stretches, but again, we're just gonna be doing marking time. So just make sure that your feet are ready to go. You want to maybe do some calf stretches, but we won't be doing anything extensive. All right, first things first, um, we need to talk about technique really quick. Um, if you are familiar, with the roll step marching technique, uh, this is a little bit different. Um, since we're practically gonna be wearing a block of wood in which this, in which it is the uh, wooden shoes, um, our foot can't flex, right? We can't roll step. Um, so what we have to do is, um, of course, put your fist at your side and then you just simply lift your foot up and down about one inch. And that's how we mark time course keeping our own tempo uh, with drumline um, and then I'll have you practice that in a moment and again put your fist at your side um, you don't want to do it in front or two back or up and down just like right right on your hip bones right there and then you're you're basically gonna be waddling but you do not want to lock your knees like this you want to of course provide um, a nice slight bend in them but lift your foot up and down like so all right, are you ready to give it a try? Let's do it. So, I will play a recording um, that is from 2019. It is of our band um, performing Tiptoe. Uh, thanks to the band director, uh, she has a YouTube channel and uh, I'm uh, gonna be playing that video from it. So, thank you for that. All right, um, we have about a minute and 15 seconds. So we'll just um, practice mark time. Um, if you're not comfortable right now, you can just watch me, um, and then, uh, wind back if you need to, or you can join in with us, but again, there'll be about a minute and 15, um, of us marking time, getting into it, making sure that we're on the correct foot so I can show you how it's done, right? And then you can jump in if you want to. So let's get to it. All right. Left, left. You notice how I'm staying nice and still, my upper body is staying nice and controlled. My hips have a little bit of sway in them. Feet are staying nice and together. Just about one inch off the ground. Left, 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 good. And again, you just mark time whenever there is a cadence and occasionally during um, the routine as well. Alright, we should be coming up on the whistle really quick. Let's pause it right there. So, you heard the whistle, right? And that means initiation time. So that means um, you're, when you're on mark time, of course you want to guide, you want to adjust um, as if you were in a parade. Um, guide to the right, of course, to your right guide. But then once you hear that whistle, then then boom, you like all of your senses are on, right? So you, you are, you're mindful of where you're going, what you're gonna about to do. Um, so what you need to do for that to happen, um, if you are a high brass trumpet mellophone, all right, so it'll be, hang on, so there'll be eight clicks, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's where we'll stop for today because the next part of the series will be after that and we'll be learning that in the next video. But, um, if you are high brass trumpet or mellophone, when you are marking time, you're going to carry your instrument around like this, correct? So two hands. And then when you get to the eight clicks, you're going to go one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So you have your instrument in your right hand. So you're going to create almost a nine or a 45 degree angle. 
and then you're gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this is just gonna be a fist with the left hand, and then like that. But if you are an upper woodwind, um, you are always going to carry like this flute and clarinet, I believe. Um, so you're always gonna carry it in one hand because if you do the next part of the routine, it it requires kicking, and that doesn't really work if your instrument is right here, up and down. Um, and then for the rest of the band, um, lows, I believe they have something else. I think sax is bring it down or something like that. I'd have to check. All right, so let's try it, um, the eight counts. And since I am a mouthphone, I will be doing the bringing it down. All right, so let's do that, and then that will be it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So we saw that, right? So I have my instrument. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sense? All right. That is how you mark time. Um, that is the intro to the routine. Of course, there are some little parts of marking time, but at the very end of this series, we will be putting the entire routine together. So we'll uh, go ahead and smooth everything out, make sure that you've got it down. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out this video and stay tuned until the second part of the series, which will hopefully be dropping very soon. Thank you for watching and see you soon.